My name is Misha Awa. I've got a secret. Do you think you can guess what it is? Harry, cream deodorant. The deodorant that is 53% more effective in keeping underarms dry and odorless presents I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. <laughs> Thank you very much, and greetings again to you out there, my ever-loving friends. This is Gary Moore, somewhat surprised, I must confess, to be back on the air after last week's episode with the future Mrs. Tommy Manville. <laughs> Any of you folks see the show last week? Huh? <laughs> all right, now we're all set to play. I've got a secret. How about you, panel? You all ready? Yeah. Everybody's ready? All right, let's have our first contestant. Will you come out on the stage, please? Let's give this gentleman a very warm welcome. Now then, sir, will you tell us what your name is, please, and what it is that you do for a living? Roy Lacey. I, I'm a butler at uh, Ballantyne Brewery. You're the Ballantyne Bre Brewery. All right. Now, panel, it's going to be up to you to uncover Mr. Lacey's secret, and here's how we play the game. Each panelist will get two questioning periods of 15 seconds each, but the clock will only time the actual questions. When the panelist's time is up, he will hear this sound. <laughs> And I will pay our guest $10 and turn the game over to our next questioner. Twice around the panel for a total loss of $80, and the game is over. Now then, Mr. Laser, if you will whisper your secret to me behind your hand, we will reveal it at the same time to the viewers at home. And I believe it, too. I believe it. All right, now, to help you classify this uh, secret panel, I will tell you that it starts with the word I, and it is something that Mr. Laser did. Now, we'll start our questioning with Miss Jane Meadows. Miss Meadows? Mr. Laser, this thing that you did, did you do it more than once? No. You did it once. Did this thing bring you any fame at the time that you did it? Mm, yes, I, I should say a, me a measure of fame. Would it help me to know at what period in your life you did this? What age you were? I, I would guess it would probably help you some, Miss Meadows. It would. Would it be in the last few years? No. 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 Would it have been in your childhood? Pardon? There goes the buzzer that the question was... In your childhood? Well, it was not in Mr. Laser's childhood, no. There is $10 down and $70 to go. Mr. Melville Cooper. Uh, tell me, uh, would it be in your uh, college days? Uh, I would say... Around that age, anyhow. Huh? Yeah, around that age, yes. Around yes. that age. Mm -hmm. Was it anything uh, athletic you did? Uh, yes. It was. One of the games? I mean, athletic games, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There was uh, a form of athletics, yes. Uh, I mean, a common game like football? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that it was a, a, a game like football. $20 down, $60 to go. Miss Lorraine Day. Mr. Laser, did you fight? I did. Uh, you were a boxer? Yes. In college? No, it wasn't no. in college. We said it's around that age. Period. Around that, that age. Did you fight professionally? Yes. Is your secret I fought somebody or well, I... Well, that did. is uh, implied in the secret. That is not the whole secret, however. Does it mention the person you fought? Is yes. That, uh, the person you fought, would he be a famous fighter? Yes. Would he be a yes. champion? The question was, would he be a champion? Uh, uh, he... Uh, was uh, a champion. Pardon? I mean... Was, was he a champion? Yeah, no, he was not a champion at the time. Thirty dollars... <laughs> anything if you hadn't asked that. Thirty dollars down and fifty dollars to go, Mr. Bill Cullen. Uh, is the secret, uh, is, is, am I interested now, if I find out who he fought, is that the secret? That he is not the so complete so? secret, no. It isn't. Uh, is the person he fought, uh, was, uh, was this over twenty years ago? Just, just a minute, now, <laughs> you, you hold your fingers up and I'll count. <laughs> uh, no, it was not over twenty years ago. Uh, was the person Joe Lewis, by any chance? Before he was champion? No, Mr. Laser, however, has fought Joe Lewis. Was this person prior to Joe Lewis? Uh, well, now, what do you mean, was he prior to Joe Lewis? In an earlier age of fighting, uh, like right before Joe Lewis, John L. Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think it was John L. Sullivan. No, I will have to say, however, that the gentleman uh, that he fought is older than Joe Lewis, I guess. 
$40 down and $40 to go. Panel, we are on our last go-round. Miss Jane Meadows. Mr. Laser, would it by any chance have been Jack Dempsey? Somebody like that? No. It wasn't. Would it be somebody older than Jack Dempsey? No. Younger than Jack yes. Dempsey? Who is younger than Jack Dempsey? Everybody. <laughs> Well, the only ones I know are Joe Lewis or Sugar Ray Robinson. Well, it wasn't Sugar Ray Robinson. All right, there's $50 down and $30 to go. Mr. Melville Cooper. Was, uh, was this fighter you fought uh, a heavyweight? He was. He was a heavyweight. Well, that's pretty good to know, isn't it? Now we know he's a heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> that narrows it down to at least 200 know. people. Yeah, uh, he was a heavyweight. Uh, he, and he, was, he was never a champion. Uh, oh. We did not say that. We said he was not a champion at the time that Mr. Laser fought. Did, did he become a champion afterwards? Yes. A, a world champion? Or the champion of his class? No, world champion. World. world. He became a world champion. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> world heavyweight champion. $60 down, $20 to go. Miss Day. Would it be Jean Tunney? Uh, no. Max Schmeling? No. Uh, the Italian fighter, um, Prima Carnera? No. Um, <laughs> uh, Walcott? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mr. Laser's secret has, is that in the year 1939, he won a unanimous decision over Jersey Joe Walcott, and he later lost to Joe Lewis. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mary. Now then, may we have our next contestant, please? A very handsome gentleman. Hello. <laughs> Would you tell us your name, please, and what you do for a living? My name is Martin Rafferty. I'm a policeman, city of New York. Rafferty. City of New York. You live in New York? Yes. Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, you, you, oh, you live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right. Well, now you have a secret for our panel to uncover, huh? All right, now, panel, remember how we play twice around the panel and you have lost the game. Now, Mr. Rafferty, please remind me of your secret. At the same time, we will let our home audience know exactly what it is. <laughs> There's so many things I want to say, but I can't and not give anything away. Now, to help classify this secret for you, panel, I will tell you it begins with the word I, and it is an experience that Mr. Rafferty had, all right? So we're set to go and start the cross-examination with Bill Cullen, who looks very wise for some reason. I don't feel so wise. I gather, Gary, from the applause we got there that it was a successful secret, so I don't guess... <laughs> uh, and you're a policeman, is that right? Yes. Uh, were you successful in preventing something, Mr. Rafferty? <laughs> Again. Oh. <laughs> you certainly have an act for it, boy. I... <laughs> if his secret is that he's going to marry Tommy Manziel. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, did, did you receive any recognition or public acclaim for uh, this uh, secret of yours, sir? Well, I, I would say he, he received a, a public public uh, notice. <laughs> um. He's a policeman, and he's from Brooklyn, so I'm going to take a wild stab at this one. Uh, do, does this have anything to do with the Brooklyn Dodgers? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty wild stab. Uh, were any other policemen involved in this? No. <laughs> Question, he gave an honest answer. What's wrong? Okay. In other words, I assume this was accomplished single-handedly. Uh, I have several no, no. questions. You know. uh, it, was, it was not accomplished single-handedly. Another person had to be involved? Was there gunplay in this thing? Uh, no. <laughs> uniform at the time. I mean, <laughs> I'd love to know what this is. <laughs> Was he? 
money? No. Thank you. All right. Ten dollars down and seventy dollars to go, Miss Jane Meadows. Miss Meadows. Mr. Rafferty, this experience that you had and the person that was involved in it, would this person be of the opposite sex? Yes. Would this person be a member of your family? Yes. A blood relative? And... Your wife, by yes. any chance? Would this experience be prior to your marriage? <laughs> no. No, Miss Meadows, no. Would this experience that you had with your wife have been a one-time thing? <laughs> So far as, as, so far as history now records it, there is no company. $20 down and $60 to go, Mr. Melville Cooper. Uh, this experience you had with your wife, uh, officer, uh, the result, I gather, was pleasant. Yes. yes. Did the result uh, involve uh, other little people arriving in the world? Uh, yes. Yes. Mr. Cullen, if you want to think back what you said, yeah. please, now you can. But is it, uh, uh, Mr. Rafferty? <laughs> uh, Mr. Rafferty, is it that you are the father of uh, more than one child in one birth? Uh, yes. Was it triplet? Yes. It was triplet? Now, there is a, there is a time, element, uh, time element involved, Mr. Cooper, yeah. as to when this happy event took place. Oh, uh, is it recently? Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a few days ago? Uh, yes. Or yesterday? Well, but we'll have to say, when you say a few days ago, that is included in the secret. The secret is that on Tuesday, Tuesday. Mr. Rafferty at the Brooklyn Hospital became the father of triplets. And ah. congratulations to you. And we have, and We knew that you being the father, recent father of triplets, you've probably been too busy to get to the cigar store. So on behalf of the management, we want to give you this box of cigars from us to you. <coughs> okay? Thank you, boys. Yeah, you have one? What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure, thank you. Thank you. Give one to the top. Give one to the top. Have you tried yours yet, Lorraine? <laughs> I know we got a small budget on the show, fellas, but this is ridiculous. Huh? <laughs> wow. All right, where are we? Oh, now it is time for our panel to go to work on our tonight's special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the brilliant comedian of movies and of television and the stage, Mr. Misha Auer. Misha, we will have our panel start, start... Oh, Mr. Rafferty left some of his money behind. He left all of his money. Misha, there's more over here for you. We'll put this aside for Mr. Rafferty. In a moment, our panel... You won't like it. <laughs> In a moment, we'll have our panel start digging for Mr. Auer's secret, but now here is important news from five New York doctors. All right, now, panel, let's see how quickly you can expose Mr. Auer's secret. We will play the game as before, except, of course, in this case, any money won will go to Mr. Auer's favorite charity. Now, Misha, if you'll tell me your secret, and we will show it at the same time to the folks at home. <laughs> this I find a little incongruous, but I will tell you, panel, that it begins with the word I, and it is something that Misha used to be. Let's start the cross-examination with Miss Lorraine Day, please. Is this something that you used to be, uh, Misha, before you became an actor? No. It was why you were an actor. That's right. Uh, did you make money doing this or being this? No, that was a sideline. It, it was what kept you eating while you were being an actor. <laughs> no. No, the acting kept you eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's $10 down and $70 to go. Mr. Bill Cullen. Did the Brooklyn Dodgers help you? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Arnn, uh, the thing that you did, was it uh, comparative, comparatively different from acting? Was it far afield from being an actor? Yes. 
Did it require uh, physical effort? Was it manual labor on your part? In a way. <laughs> Did it require some special ability or skill? Yes. Is it the kind of special uh, ability or skill that the majority of people have uh, in the same degree? No. <laughs> Many people have the ability, but not to the degree that Mr. R has it or has it. Has it. $20 down and $60 to go, Miss Jane Miller. Mr. Auer, would it help me to know what part of your body was involved in the doing of this thing more than any other part? The whole thing. <laughs> The whole this, brawny, gorgeous thing. Was this thing. classified as a hobby, this thing that you did? No. It was not a hobby. Would it be a vocation, such as uh, acting, only possibly singing, something like that? No. No. Uh, I think we must say here, Misha, that it could be someone's vocation. It happened to be, in his case, an avocation. It was. Uh, would, is there any particular time of day involved in the doing of this thing? Well, uh, during daytime, I would say. You would do it during the daytime. Was it place? And what was the question, Miss Meadows? The place. Would the place he did it help? Yes, it would help a great deal. $30 down, $50 to go, Mr. Melville Cooper. The place you did it, Misha, was it in this country? Yes. In Hollywood? No. No. In the East here? Yes. In the East. And it was something to do with your, with acting? A part no. of acting? No, 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 we only said, Mr. Cooper, that he did, it, did this at the same time that he was an actor. Ah, yeah, uh, well, you were a, a, a busboy or something like that, was it, or a, a waiter? No. A busboy? Dishwasher? No. <laughs> does dishwashing call for a special skill? I suppose it does. I can't do oh, it very well. Yeah. $40 down, $40 <laughs> to go, panel. But not all over. <laughs> We happen, to have, we happen to have a very deep sink in our house. <laughs> Miss Lorraine Day, it's the last time around for the panel. Uh, were you a cook? No. Did you do it in the kitchen? No. Yeah, did you do it in a, in a house? No. In an office building? No. In a hotel? Time is up. All right, $50 down, $30 to go, Mr. Cullen. <laughs> this thing that you did, whatever it was, uh, did you do it outside? Yes. Did you do it in the air? Yes. In the air? <laughs> People were talking. <laughs> he says he did it in the air. He must have had a rather much. I mean, no, no, no. I, 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 let me help you. It was outside, huh? I meant in the air as opposed to land or sea or something like that. Yes, yes. Let's, let's, let's say that it was uh, close to the sea. <laughs> You're being very generous. Uh, were you, um... Were you any chance, by any chance, a beachcomber? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Were you a lifeguard or a... That uh... is precisely it. <laughs> you can... We have a very fun one. <laughs> will, you, will you tell Bill Culler and the rest of the panel where it was and how it happened that you were a lifeguard? Well, it all happened in our state very quickly because we're short of time. I was a dramatic director in the Catskills. <laughs> and was also, a, and he's now at, in Philadelphia doing a show down there. Yes, at, at the Playhouse in the park. I'm doing 20th Century there with Hala Scott, and it's going to be fantastic. But to come back quickly, very quickly, I was a, 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 a dramatic director in the Catskills at the age of 20, and on the side, they used to save lives out of the lake. We used to pull them out. <laughs> like Borsh. Thank you like ever Borsh. so much. You make us <laughs> Well, now then, my friends, we, we, may we have our next contestant, please? Will the next gentleman come on our stage? Here is a young gentleman. Right Would you tell us what your name is, please, and where you're from? My name's Carl Siegel, and I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, Mr. Siegel, will you remind me of your secret at the same time we will reveal it to the folks at home? Keep it that way, shall we? <laughs> now, to help classify the secret panel, I will tell you that it starts with the word I that concerns something that Mr. Siegel has. We will start the questioning with Mr. Melville Cooper. 
something you have, Mr. Siegel. Is, uh, is this something you have uh, living? Yes. Something you have, well, uh, is it uh, for a, a shot in the blue? Is it uh, your father? No. <laughs> Any blood relation? Oh, I doubt it. Maybe, but I doubt it. I no, doubt there's, it. No, there's no blood relation, Malcolm. No blood relation, huh? Well, is it uh, uh, an animal or something? Yes. An animal? Ooh. <laughs> Time's up, Mr. Cooper. Ten dollars down, seventy dollars to go, Miss Lorraine Bay. Do you have more than one animal? No, I don't. Just one. Is Just this one. animal an uh, unusual animal? For some people. Is he a <laughs> wild animal? No. Uh, well, well, uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. It would have to be classified as yeah. a wild animal. Uh, from the Africa, an animal like from Africa or found in this continent? Africa or this continent? Yes. Yes. <laughs> No, it, 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 is, it is not from this country. No, it, she said continent. Oh, uh, continent, yes. All right, is it from South America? Uh, Take it away. <laughs> uh, well, then we have to say no, not South America. Central America. No. North America. There is $20 down and $60 to go, not North America either. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Yes, it is from North America. <laughs> There's one minute to go. Panel, we are out of time. I'm sorry. We're going to have to ask this gentleman to reveal his secret. Will you tell us what your secret is? Oh, I've got a live boa constrictor in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, here he is. Hello. Well, I don't know whether... Yeah. We haven't... This... Well, you didn't have to hand him to me. I'd join <laughs> He looks so inanimate, I was only trying to establish to the, to the folks at home that he is live, and he's going to prove it by biting me here in just a moment. <laughs> well, thank you, sir, very much from the makers of... There he goes. Thank you very much from the makers of Arid for being with us tonight, and congratulations for being such a hearty soul. And do come back and see if you can. Thank you. Well, my friends, that's all the time we have now for our guests and their secrets. In just a moment, I will tell you about the famous celebrity who is going to be third degree by our panel next week on our show. But first, I've got a secret for you. Here is an exciting beauty secret of great importance to every woman. Now, then, next week at the same time, our panel will have the pleasure of trying to uncovering the secret which is being kept by Miss Gloria Swanson. There will also be other interesting people on hand that challenge our experts with their secrets. Until that time, I'd like to say goodnight to our delightful panel, Mr. Bill Cullen, Miss Jane Meadows, Mr. Melville Cooper, and Miss Lorraine Day. Until we all meet here then next week on I've Got a Secret, this will be Gary Moore saying bye-bye for the whole gang. Very kind to of each other, will you? <laughs> Thank you.